Hello everyone, today I want to show you how to create fog or mist in Blender without using a volume shader or a principled volume shader. Um, and if you're working in After Effects, you can also use it to control the depth of field in your picture or even in your animation without uh, adding it to directly to your picture or to your animation. So if you want to know how to create that, just watch that video. So I've downloaded that model from the Blender Kit add-on where you can download thousands of free models, materials, scenes, HRIs and brushes. And um, with a paid account you can download even more. I will put a, a link in the description where you can get a 10% discount if you like to. But um, anyways, um, let's create some mist. So um, I've downloaded that model and put my camera right here. And to create some uh, fog or mist without a volume shader, you have to go into the view layer properties panel and activate the mist channel. So next thing that you have to do is uh, you have to go to your camera, click on it and go to the camera properties and in the viewport display panel you have to activate limits and mist. Um, what's happening there? If you activate limits you will see that line going directly away from your camera and if you activate mist you can see these white dots and the white dots uh, I think there has to be one uh, and another one must be there under the layer um, with these two dots uh, at the moment we can see only one. You uh, define the start of your mist and the end point of your mist. The start point everything is visible and at the end point everything is 100% uh, 100, 100 uh, white. So the density is 100%. And to control now the start and the end point you have to go to the world properties. And there you can see there is a new uh, panel mist pass and now there's a start point and there you can see uh, our first point that was hidden under our uh, ground layer and we will just put that right in front of our camera that, that will be the start point of our mist and the end point will be right at the end of our ground layer so here's everything visible and at the end everything will be white and uh, the density of the fog will be around 100%. So now, of course, we can see nothing in our rendered view because uh, the mist layer is something that's uh, that is been added that that is added uh, at the end um, of uh, our rendering, uh, comparable with the clear or um, lens distortion um, node. And to activate it, we have to go into the compositing panel and there you have to activate use nodes. Um, Claire and lens distortion uh, is something that came with the download of the model. That's not standard. I think standard is uh, something like that. And to see something, we have to first, we have to render our picture. I will do that quickly. So here's our rendered picture. And let's go back to our compositing panel. And to see uh, our changes in the compositing panel, we have to add a viewer node and plug the image into our viewer node. And there is our image. Uh, to scale it down, you have to go to view and scale down the zoom so that you can see everything. So now what we have to do now to add some mist. Um, by the way, like as you can see, uh, here is added some death channel and some mist channel. And to add the fog, the mist, we have to add a mix node. And we plug that mist node right between the render layers node and the viewer node. And we can disconnect that. That one uh, is the our 
our rendered picture and that one is the view in the compositing panel and as a factor we can use our mist and as you can see the factor now uh, is combined with our original picture and we got some beautiful fog without using some volume shader now to get uh, to get full control of our mist we can add a color ramp node and plug that right here between the uh, mist output and the factor input and now we can control our mist where it start and where it where it's end and with the black color you can control the density of the mist and of course with the white color you can start uh, you, you can define the start point of the mist and to see what's going on exactly we just plug in the mist output directly in the viewer node and as you can see it um, renders some beautiful black and white image and we can use that um, now in after effects if you're working with that you have to render the uh, black and white image and the normal image separately and let's jump into after effects there are prepared the black and white image and the normal image and now we have full control about the depth, um, the focus uh, depth of field of our image and to control that uh, you deactivate the depth of field picture that means the black and white picture and activate the uh, adjustment layer icon like right here now um, there's a effect called camera lens blur in English. Uh, that's the German um, German filter here, and you plug the camera lens blur filter on your picture, not on the depth of field black and white picture, but on the normal uh, color picture. Now uh, you have to define the layer, how it's called, um, and we choose the depth of field black and white layer and as you can see it's adding some cool blur depth of field and to control that we have some blur factor right above maybe something like that and um, where is it with the uh, blur focus focal length you can now control the the start and the endpoint that means th that you don't have to uh, render the complete uh, depth of field uh, with um, blender but you can now control the focal length and the depth of field afterwards in after effects even when you have an animation